good morning scholars how are you hope you all are fine students in today's session we are going to discuss about how to create a query in microsoft access but before i start telling you how you can create a query in the microsoft office access database firstly you should know what is the query a query is a request for specific data from the database the capability of querying a database is one of the most powerful database features in other words a query is a simply a question represented in a way that access can understand now we will discuss the steps how we have to begin how we have to create a query for this firstly go to create tab and just click on once you will click on this create tab there will be a change in the ribbon here in the other group you will find one option query design here you have to click on this button once you will click on it then you will find this dialog box show table now in the next step see what you have to do you have to click on a table that contains information you want to use in your query click on add button to add the table to your query like this now in the next step you have to click on the fields but here on each field you have to double click if you want to add this in this then you have to double click on it double click with the left mouse button on a field you want to include on your query as i want to show the list of the students and their roll numbers but only english marks i want to display so i am selecting this field name english marks by double clicking on it once you have double clicked on each of the field name or field which you want to include your in your query you will see a change here that the field you have selected it has been displayed in this area now for running a query what you have to do now see the steps carefully when you need to run the query for producing the results after the query is created by you then you should click on the run button here in the database toolbar just click on it once you will click on the run button you will see a change here on your screen here you can see that one you have clicked on the run button in the result group from the design tab to run the query the results of the query appeared in the data sheet view like this and in this way you can display 
the results as per your requirement here in this area it displays the roll number student names with their english marks because in the query also we have selected just these three fields roll number student name and english marks so in this way the records that meet the conditions used specified appear in this area now if you want to save this query how it is to be saved you can right click on it query 1 click on the save option here save as dialog box it will appear type a name for your query here as i am writing here students marks or you can give another name also and after typing here query name click on the okay button to save your query so here your this query it has been saved so in this way you can also save your query in the microsoft office access so today you have learned how you can create a query in ms access how you can run a query in ms access and i have also explained you today how you can save a query in the ms access that's all for today students for today only this much thank you so much